So in the uh, T-Crane Dynamine study, we're seeking to understand how adding a uh, structurally, uh, chemically structurally related compound like dynamine, the common name of which is methylibrine, and methylibrine is very structurally similar, kind of like a chemical cousin to T-Crene. Now, uh, what we're looking to do is we're looking to see what implication adding a structurally related compound like dynamine to T-Crene, what effect does that have on the same neurocognitive performance aspects that we've already seen uh, advantages with just T-Crene in isolation or T-Crene with caffeine? In, uh, in combination. With the second study with T-Crene, we've taken a little bit of a different approach and we've moved out of the sport athlete model into more of the tactical athlete model. So what we're doing in this case is there's been some interesting data that's come out on the effects of mental fatigue. What we're doing this time is we've actually set it up so we're going to step, we're going to use that same reaction time board we used in study one, but we're going to use it for mental fatigue. So in other words, they're going to do a half hour of reaction time fairly slow, but it's enough that now you have to maintain sustained vigilance. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take them out of that. So now imagine that you put um, a soldier or a law enforcement officer into a live fire incident, right? So now they've come off, for example, sustained vigilance, watching a target, and now go. So what we're gonna do is then we bring them out and we're gonna have to do them physical response time. So we're gonna use our tracer system to actually see what's happened now after mental fatigue in terms of their movement capabilities. And then we're gonna have them do a, a simulated live fire exercise where they're actually gonna use um, a, a handgun model that we've got uh, for, for targeting. And they'll actually be able to now, we'll be able to track their accuracy, their response time, their ability to tactically reload. And so what we're trying to do is develop a model where we can see what this would do once they're in the field, once they've had to now respond to a stress or respond to a demand and look at how um, in this case, we're going to compare a placebo to caffeine to caffeine, T-Crene, and, and dynamine as, as a combination to look at what happens there. And so that's where it's going to give us an idea of whether there's a synergistic effect, what might happen with this notion of sustained vigilance where you don't have highs and lows. Um, and that's really going to be the next question that we're going to try to approach. The hypothesis is that, um, is that adding dynamine to a T-Crene caffeine combination or adding dynamine to T-Crene will add um, additional efficacy in neurocognitive performance, in uh, neuromotor and physical performance aspects, particularly in the early stages that you may not really see with t -Crene alone. Our hypothesis is that caffeine as a stimulant itself should improve overall performance, but the combination because of the nature of how they overlap with each other and what we're seeing for perhaps their ability to allow for a more um, improved accuracy response should be even better.